Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we are playing Interstellar Rift. So today we are uh, testing um, Sentry uh, satellite, I call it, and uh, the idea is that uh, we have like a, a very small ship with uh, automatic weapons that they will fire um, whenever um, some enemy is uh, close by and I have uh, this um, satellite close to my station so it's a good way to um, defend your station so if you have a, a, a like a if you're stationary or you have a station uh, you can deploy several of these and I will show it to you is this um, border files border butterfly sentry satellite uh, so the butterfly uh, is because it resembles a butterfly so you will find it here let let's see if well yes there there it is so it's a is a very simple ship uh, so we have some skrills close by, well, a lot of them. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to lure them uh, close to the station, close to the, the sentry, and we will see the sentry in action. So let's go there. Let's uh, enable the weapons just in case. And now they, uh, the skrills will try to attack me. There they come, and now we lure them to the... to the sentry. So let's see... There you see how it's um, shooting at them. This one has... it has four... Um, four pul pulse lasers in each side so in total it has eight and it well it's able look at this it's able to to target several skrills uh, at the same time that's nice it's uh, i only have one so it's pretty effective look at this it's taking care of them and and I have them with um, improved ammo so this particular ammo um, is um, it uh, wow look at that it inflicts damage to both shields and uh, and hole uh, like base damage it's called base damage wow it will be <laughs> i bet that if we go now after this en encounter we will see that the that the sentry took a beating but look at this it's, it's really effective like with um with the four um well, it's, there are eight in total. Eight uh, pulse lasers. One on top and one at the bottom. And probably it took a beating. So I will um, check it out. There must be a lot of um, salvage. Look at that. Yeah, lots. So let's go and um, take some um, I will take some nanobots with me because probably it's uh, heavily damaged. Let's see what what uh, damage it has taken. How much do we have here? Not much. Let's take this 1200. There we go.
I think it took a beating. There you have it. Wow. <laughs> so this is it. This is it. It's a very small area. And it has a cockpit. But the cockpit is only... Um, we need the cockpit because... Um, Otherwise, we cannot activate the um, uh, the weapons. But look at that, it took a beating. And it's uh, also running. This is the ammo, the improved ammo I placed here. I need to reload it because there's not much left. Okay, so... that's that it has two um power cells uh the the um, weapon cpu is back there if you can see it it has a an armor generator and a ammo loader the cockpit and the um teleporter that's it no more. It doesn't have um, life support, so there's no oxygen here. That's why it's telling me all the time that oxygen is low because no, it's not manned. So I only come here to to reload whatever. Ah, but I, I didn't. I didn't place the the nanobots, did I? <laughs> okay. And I will show you now, like, um, yeah, there we go. I will show you the design in the, in the, in the editor. Let me see. I had some things here. Still taking stuff. <laughs> but yeah but I will do this later um yeah here I will show you the the design so this one it doesn't even have an anchor so I will um, spawn it uh, close to the base Wh what I did here is um, I tried to um, set it um, uh, two and a half kilometers from the from the from the station because the weapon range right this is more or less the weapon range and look at this so it has two um, like these two antenna like uh, sensor arrays and four automatic pulse laser these are these ones let me show you uh, this one light automated pulse laser so they will shoot automatically whenever there's um, enemies close by and in the interior you have this uh, what I showed you before so it's a very small um, it's powered by solar panels entirely, so it doesn't have generator, it doesn't um, need any uh, fuel. And this is the cost, like, it's, um, it's somewhat expensive, like, for the materials. Like, it's, it's more than many, like, your average small ship. But otherwise, it's very um, cheap because, in the sense that it it provides a good defense for for your base. So you saw how this um, this Sentry satellite single-handedly took all those Skrills, right? I don't remember how many were they, but there were like at least five or or so. Single-handedly took them out. And the cool thing was that each um, laser will target will can can handle a different target. 
so this is a good um, choice like if you want to protect any vessel that that is um, stationary so you can if, if you if you are like stopping uh, in, a, in a particular place to mine or something you can just build them and then you can salvage them so this is the sentry uh, satellite a good option to defend your base okay so that's it i hope you like the video and hope to see you in the next one this is cyber settlers signing off